Hey guys. Hey guys. So we just filmed for about four hours with our new camera and our new microphone. And, and now it, we're editing. And it does not sound fresh. We don't know what we did. And I obviously there was like an extra setting. And so like we reference our new gear a lot in the video. We're like, oh, can you hear like, uh, oh, our sound is so good. A crispy image, like we don't know how to use this camera or microphone yet. Yeah, and, and we so, used it and we were so happy and excited. We were so excited for like crystal clear audio, like finally after you guys have been begging us and it's not, it's the same, it's the same. This ain't it fam. This ain't it. This so, ain't it. <laughs> this is just a quick disclosure that we're filming now again after, just letting you guys know. The audio is the same, so every time we reference the microphone, just know that we thought it was going to be amazing. Don't come for us. We're tired. Yeah, we're so <laughs> tired. We're so sorry. But enjoy the video. It's a really good one. Bye. We love you guys. What are we doing today? So, I don't know if you guys can tell, but there's a little bit of high definition going on. Can you hear us? Are we sounding better? <laughs> Wilson's like squeak squeak. Yeah, you can hear us. He's a pee. That's a real. That is That's a pee. Hold on, there you go, baby. So, um, if you guys can't tell, I hope you can, but we got a new camera. We did. We should address what happened. I think week. we should bring it up. So, a few of you may have noticed that we uploaded a video on Wednesday and it didn't do so good. It was only up for like an hour, so many of you might not have seen it. Um... <laughs> what is there to say except that we're very new to this? Yes. We did the best we could with our phone cameras, like whatever the resources we had, and we know that it's difficult to watch. We get it. We totally understand. But at the same time, well, shit's expensive, man. We are, we've said it time and time again. We're yeah. broke. You know, these holes, they send us dry. Yeah. So, yeah. So, our video, obviously, there's a bit of backlash over the quality of the sound and the video. And we were like, okay, you know what? If we're going to do YouTube, we're going to do it properly. Yeah. So, I got paid. <laughs> and I took a large chunk of my paycheck. And we've got a new camera. And we've got a microphone, finally. Yeah. Yay. Yay! I feel like we've got the setup now, we've got the camera, the yeah. ring light. We're YouTubers now, guys. We're it. We're here. We're, we're in it. You know, we're investing, we're doing it. We don't want to put out anything that doesn't, you know, make you guys happy to watch it. We're going to put it back up, but this time we're going to edit out all the crappy bits. And yeah, hopefully that'll be up, like, eventually. And it is worth the watch. It's fun. It's a little collaboration with our yeah. friend Alex, pretty pastel, please. No one can dispute that we try. <laughs> Things don't always work out. No. So we can't stress enough how new we are to this. We just we want to do it. We want to be on YouTube. Yeah. We are really loving the feedback you guys give. Yeah. The comments make us cry with happiness. Yeah. yeah. And so here we are, back in it, back in the game. The haters can't tear us down. No, they can't. But they can also definitely tear us down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but back on track, we spent a lot of money on this camera and this uh, mic. So we didn't have money to do a haul as such. We yeah. go op shopping all the time. We're always just checking out. We have a street full of op shops, so me and Millie also to save cash, definitely thrift shop like weekly, like just to find like cool new items and stuff. So we thought today's one would be more about showing you what sort of stuff we've been able to get, like how cool thrift shopping can be. If you've never done it before, like totally recommend it. Yeah, everything we got was pretty much under 30 Australian dollars. Yeah. So me and Millie compiled like some of our favorite items. Yeah, we've kind of done like a we've done like a denim jacket section, a wind jacket section, a sweater, jumper, pullover, whatever you guys yeah. call it section. I'm a jacket hoarder, so yeah. I have jackets coming out of my ears. So let's get into it. We're gonna try some clothes, we're gonna show you our collection, um, and we'll see you at the end. in a thrift shop. It was about 20 Australian dollars, which is an insane price for what it is. Um, I also wore it in Japan and it completely kept out the cold winds. It is really thin but really warm. I can't express you enough. It's just something you can throw on and not feel bulky and weighed down, but it's a winter friendly garment. Um, the sleeves, it's like an 80s kind of style windbreaker. The colours are 
just incredibly perfect for each other. It's got little pink dots, it's got little purple stripes. It is such a cute windbreaker. I used to go into thrift shops looking for windbreakers like this, and it took me so long to find one that I like. The brand is called Casual Isle. I don't know if that's an international brand, I've never seen it before, but it's, you know, spacious and comfortable. Um, probably an old ski jacket from the 80s. Who knows its history behind it and the secrets of this jacket holds. Not like too crunchy. You know when you get one of these jackets and every time you move it sounds like a biscuit packet? It's just not that. But this is the one. This is my boy. Hey guys, this is my windbreaker. So, as you can see, it's really different because it's cropped, which I'm a huge fan of because obviously it's more flattering to my shape. I don't look like a big sack of potatoes. But, um, yeah, so cropped, multicolored in the underarms. What? I paid, I, I'm gonna say like 15 Australian dollars. And you know what else drew me to this? It's actually made in Portugal which I think is really cool. So I was like, yay! It doesn't feel cheap. It keeps out the wind. The inside is lined with like that netting thermal and the outside is like that, I don't know, waterproof synthetic stuff. But yeah, real pockets, dirty tissues. And you know what? It's not too like in your face. You can wear this on a daily basis and just be like, whoa, where did you get that from? And that's kind of my MO when I go thrift shopping. I want people to be like, oh my God, where did you get that from? Where did you get this from? And I'll be like, sorry, you will never get it. <laughs> hey guys, this one is one of my favorite pieces from my wardrobe. When I saw this on the rack, I literally lost my shit. I collapsed on the floor, I threw up. I was like, that, I need it. I don't care how much it is. You know when sometimes you go thrift shopping and you go, oh, that's a thrift shop, it'll be $5. This was like, 40 Australian dollars, so this was the most expensive thrift shop thing I've ever bought, but it was worth it. Um, the colours are incredible, it's super vibrant, it barely looks worn honestly, um, which I love. It's very oversized, very just like chuck it on, feeling cold, won't look sick. Worth the money. Definitely one of those finds where you're like, I gotta have it. Gotta have it. Not even look at the price, just gonna tap and go. It's just a good vintage piece. People ask me all the time where I got it from. And like Diash said, you're never gonna find it, but you will find something really cool in vintage shops. I definitely recommend you'll find your dream piece like I do. Ooh. Ah. And snack. Hey guys, so I know a lot of people, especially if you don't have like a, a little itty bitty body, thrift shopping can be really intimidating just because you know, like you just know, you're not going to get like things in your size. So when I go thrift shopping, I'm always straight to like the sweater coat section. So a lot of my things today are like jackets and things like that. But this one though, I got this for like $10, $10 Australian dollars. I just can't, when I saw it, I was like, is this some real? Like what, what the who? Seriously though, like have you ever seen anything like this? I haven't ever and I never will and I'm just, like I'm just obsessed with the colors I'm obsessed with the pattern I'm obsessed with the shape it's just a thin blazer it goes on top of everything it just adds that extra level of like oh yes look at her she's so cool I love it ah, ah, ah. it's made in Australia and the brand is called have to have like same girl And when I built it, I thought it was reversible because like the inside's so colorful. But like, why can't you? Yeah, it looks so sick. Right? Yeah. And like my hair will cover the tag. So like, you let's know. just say this is reverse. Oh, it's no problem. It's not reversible. Ooh. Ah. So this is my denim jacket that I got very recently from a shop in Newtown called U-Turn. Um, they kind of are all over Sydney and it's a recycled clothing shop. And they basically have racks upon racks upon racks of old denim, old oversized dad jackets. And I live and breathe in that shop. It's incredible. I go in there, I have a heart attack. I'm just like, I'm in heaven. This was $15. That's not possible, but it's possible. But don't let your dreams be dreams. This was possible. But this just fits me like a dream in terms of oversizedness. It's got giant pockets. I've got my gum in here. I've got my keys in here. I've got my opal in here. It fits everything that I need to carry around. I don't need a bag when I wear this, which is a dream that I never thought would be a reality. It's just 
I feel like every girl, every guy, any gender needs a staple denim jacket. It's just a really comfortable, cool thing to chuck on and you can't look bad in a denim jacket. That's a fact. It's scientifically proved by Albert Einstein himself. He came up with that theory. And bitch was right. Look at it. It looks amazing. It looks so sick. Can't go wrong. Which one can't go wrong? Unless you're a cowboy. Then you can't go wrong. Also, this is a free real estate for patches, pins, the back. Painted, paint something on it. Get creative. But yeah, absolutely recommend going to a thrift shop, get a denim jacket, but dazzling it, keeping it plain, whatever you want. This was like ten dollars, fifteen. Who gives a hoot? At the lunch. Hey guys, my denim jacket. So this is a staple of my wardrobe. I think I wear it like once a week. I roughly got this jacket for about eight Australian dollars, which is like mind blowing. Um, it's such a, it's such a steal, you know. It is. Pink denim. Does anyone else have like a raging heart on for colored denim at all times? I just feel like as soon as I see something in the thrift store that's like denim but like pink or purple, I'm like, give it to me. This one just like speaks for itself, you know? It's just pink denim, my dude. Done. Ooh. Ah. I fell in love with immediately the moment I saw it. Um, I feel like in op shops it's kind of hard to find a pastel aesthetic, but this piece screamed to me. There's a very thin line in uh, thrift shops between like grandma aesthetic and you know Harajuku pastel aesthetic, but this I think leans towards the cool side of everything. It's this little, I'm gonna say nightgown, I think it's definitely for sleeping. But I'm wearing her out. It is so pretty. Um, it's got a little underlayer that's kind of satiny, kind of like that little slip material. Um, and then it's just got a nice little lace overlay. It's got these adorable little heart buttons that I'm just living for. It's just so cute. It's such a cute piece. It was like $10. And Tiasha had to talk me into getting it because I was trying to justify whether it was a little bit too childish or a little bit too nightgownish. But I think as a whole look, it looks so cute. But yeah, I see it's something that you won't see in a shop. It's something that you won't see in any shop. You'll be different from the pack. It's real cute, it's real pastel, it's real, oh, it's real good. I love it. So this dress, seemingly normal, is just, it looks like a plain green dress. Really simple, really pretty, really flattering. And it is, right? It's really light and airy, and it's uh, the, the outer layer is like a chiffon. And then there's like a little slip, as all these dresses normally have, which is a second layer of chiffon. But this one's like, glittery but I don't know why it's glittery on the inside because no one can see it but you know what I ain't mad details for myself I know it's glittery and the little tie like makes it really pretty but you know what all op shop items have a secret like a dark secret if you look close enough and for me it was the collar which is so random it's just you can I the vibe I got from this is that someone's grandma had maybe made them made it for them because it doesn't actually have like a tag or anything. It, I think it's been homemade, and she's put like a little lace bit just on one quarter of the collar. Like it's just it doesn't go all the way around, and it's just there. And I don't know what it means, and I don't know why it's there for, but for some reason it makes the dress for me. So big fan, big ups, as Millie says. Ooh. Ah. Hey guys, this is another recent find from U-Turn that I couldn't stop laughing about when I saw it on the rack. It says, TGIF, thank god I'm from Colorado. I'm not from Colorado, I'm from Sydney, Australia. It's just funny, it's obviously like a tourist ship from Colorado that somehow found its way to Sydney, Australia and somehow found its way into this guy's wardrobe and I'm so thankful for it. I love it. I'm pairing it with the dress from before and I think the lace with like a vintage men's Sweater is like a really cute look, and I think it's adorable. And I love our Ariana Grande, just get the paparazzi. So I am like a sweater hoarder. I love my sweaters. I love oversized. I love crop. I love all the types of sweaters. So I feel like every time I go to a thrift store, I walk away with at least one sweater. There's just an over. There's too many sweaters in this house. So I just picked a few of my favorites, and I'm just gonna do a quick like sweater time. My long green boy. My purple boy, my dirty salmon boy, my weird velvet boy, my turtleneck green boy. So as you can see, I have a lot of sweaters, but every sweater I own has a beautiful story behind it. I love all my sweaters and I hope 
you guys get them too. So yeah, we op shop a lot and we enjoy it. I don't know if you guys relate to this. And please, please let us know below if you do because we need to know if it's just us. Yeah. The stress poops when you get into an op shop. Yeah. Is that relatable? Is that not? For me personally, it's not just op shops. If I get excited about going shopping, it happens. It yeah. comes and I just get too excited and I have to bail. So let us know if that's a common thing or yeah. just us being freaks. Yeah, we need to know. So let us know. And also let us know where you guys thought, like let us know where you guys shop. I always recommend places so other people from your area can see where good places yeah. to go. You know, if you guys, if any of you are from Sydney, let us know where your favourite place yeah. is to go because we're always looking we're for We're on the hunt always for any and all thrift shops. So you need to go in with no expectations mm -hmm. and then you leave very happy. True. Not always. Not though. always. I feel like thrift shopping, and I, I'm sure everyone agrees, is like either the best experience or like you walk away depressed because you're like, nothing fits me, I hate myself, Yeah. blah, blah, blah. That Everything's ugly. Like mops, yeah. I'm upset. Yeah. It's depressing. So it's really like a mixed bag. Yeah. Um, you never know what you're gonna get. Just yeah. I like that. It's fun. So yeah, guys, let us know what you thought of this video. Um, we'll see you next time. Um, don't forget we have an Instagram, which we'll link in the bio below. The doobly doo. The doob 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 doo. But we'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. Keep it cute. Keep it sweet. Mwah.